Are you looking to increase your design skills and productivity? From sketching, surfacing, assemblies, and everything in between, our books have you covered. Purchase a paperback or PDF version in our store today. Hello, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I would like to show how to do assembly cut, how to use the technique. So the assembly cut is a fantastic little thing that you're able to do where you can do assembly level features. Let me show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a plate to this assembly. I've got a plate that I made and I'm going to uh, just bring it in and I'm going to put it in the absolute origin. I'm going to say absolute uh, work part and say okay. And yes, I'm going to say yes to making it the uh, making it a fixed part. And um, here it is in the model tree. Whoops, model tree. There we go. And I'm going to make sure that it's uh, shown exact. Makes it a little easier for me to see what's going on. Okay. And then I have a flange. I'm going to say add component. And there's this flange. I'm going to bring this flange in, and I'm going to constrain it as I go. And I'm going to touch the bottom face of the flange to the top face of the plate. And then I'm going to do a center. I'm going to do a center one to two. And the one is going to be the datum, the uh, YZ datum plane. And the two is going to be the two faces of my flange. I don't like the way it's set, so I'm going to flip it like that. And finally, I'm going to um, do a distance command. And the distance is going to be from a datum plane to an edge, like that. I'm going to make it exactly uh, two inches and say OK. So now both of those uh, components are in there. One is uh, fixed and one is uh, mated. And uh, there is, let's show that exact too. So there's the piece of geometry that I want to uh, put together. Now, um, when you do an assembly cut, what you're doing is you're emulating the actual manufacturing process. When you weld things together in general, they warp and they bend. And so it's really important sometimes to have a manufacturing process where you weld things together first and then you cut them. So now I'm going to define a cut. In order to define a cut, I'm going to define a uh, cutting object. I'm going to pick this plane here. And my cutting object is just going to be a hole. It's going to be a cylindrical uh, feature. Just like this, I'm going to make it uh, two inches in diameter. Like this. Which is, so what I'm, what I'm really doing is I'm emulating, uh, putting these two parts together, welding them together, and then uh, defining a two inch hole that's uh, 1.5 deep. And uh, I say Boolean none. <clears throat> okay. And as you can see uh, in the model tree, the uh, extrude is in the assembly level. So if I, let me just make that really clear. Um, if I look at the assembly, it says assembly cut assembly. So that's the name of the assembly. I've got the plate and I've got the flange. And I've got this feature really that is in the assembly level. And uh, NX is kind of unique in its ability to do that so easily. So now I'm going to go to the assembly cut command. You can find it in the, um, the home more. And here's assembly cut. And the way it works is you select target bodies like this. And you select the solid that you created as the tool. And you say OK. So there you go. Now I have geometry that is machined, if you will, after the fact, after I put them together. And the interesting thing is if I go back to the plate and I say um, uh, open in window, the plate doesn't have that hole in it. Or if I go to the flange, the flange doesn't show that hole. It's only in the assembly. So isn't that cool? Now I'm going to go a step further and I'm going to insert a, a fillet weld. And my fillet weld is going to start on this face and go to that face. And I'm going to apply there. I'm going to do this one, this one, apply, I'm going to turn it around and say this one, this one. 
apply. And finally, this one and this one. Okay, so now I have a weldment uh, that makes more sense than if I just um, if I just defined these uh, contours in the piece parts and then just um, constrained them together. So that is the beauty of an assembly cut. They, it, it emulates the, manu the actual manufacturing process. The cut is not done until the two parts come together. And then, of course, um, the welding tool is uh, pretty awesome as well. So now I've got this thing represented. If I'm going to do model-based design, the model has to be really accurate. And in many cases, it should emulate the manufacturing process. And so this really is a technique that is important when you embrace the model-based design principles and you embrace the idea that the model contains everything. Um, it's a single source of truth. So this is an assembly, but it's a single source of truth assembly. The actual manufacturing of that or the second operation of that hole is at the right manufacturing level, so to speak. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. Hopefully you are learning from these videos and hopefully you are enjoying them. Please uh, comment to me, um, comment on the videos and tell me what, you, what else you might like to see. We do enjoy responding to user comments and certainly uh, send us a request. If you want training or if you want books, you can get them on the website or you can get a training quote if you go to info at designviz.com, send us a little letter, correspond with us, don't be strangers. We just absolutely love doing what we do. We've got a huge passion for it, obviously. So thank you very much for your usership. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.